Hey everyone, Economic Ninja here. Let's go back to economic school or economic class and let's talk about what a market economy is and how does it work, all right? So first, what's a market economy? A market economy is a system in which production of goods and services is determined by supply and demand. In a market economy, interactions between consumers and businesses determine what is available and at what price. This is in contrast or stark contrast to a command economy in which a central government sets production levels and cost. Think communism or I guess socialism. Well, I guess that's where we're sort of are right now. The United States is an example of a market economy. I mean, socialist. It has a central bank, the Federal Reserve, which is neither federal or has no reserves. Sorry, I have to keep saying it to make sure everybody understands that. But it attempts to influence the overall direction of the economy. It has a Congress that can pass legislation to boost economic activity or protect consumers. But the main driver of the economy is the law of supply and demand. So how do market economies work? Well, these market economies rely on forces of supply and demand to determine the appropriate prices and quantities for most goods and services. Entrepreneurs marshal the factors of production, land, labor, and capital, and combine them in cooperation with workers and financial backers to produce goods and services for consumers or other businesses to buy. Buyers and sellers agree on the terms of these transactions voluntarily by agreeing on a price. Think of this as the free market. You have the opportunity to say yes or no to purchase a product, and that sets price. The allocation of resources by entrepreneurs across different businesses and production processes is determined by the consumer demand that they hope to create. Successful entrepreneurs are rewarded with profits that can be reinvested into future business. Unsuccessful entrepreneurs revise their products or go out of business. Again, think free market. Now what's market theory? Theor uh, the theoretical basis for market economies was developed by class classical economists such as Adam Smith, David Ricaro, and Jean Baptiste. I'm not French, so Jean Baptiste. This we got to ask Google how to pronounce that. Jean-Baptiste said. These liberal free market advocates believed that the invisible hand of the profit motive and the market incentives generally guided economic decisions down the more productive and efficient path than government planning of the economy. I completely agree with that. They argued that government intervention often led to economic inefficiencies that made people in general worse off, like Bidenomics. Now, what are modern market economies? Well, every economy in the modern world falls somewhere along the continuum running from pure market to fully planned. Most developed nations are technically mixed economies because they blend free markets with some government interference. They are still labeled market economies because they allow market forces to drive the vast majority of activities, typically engaging in government intervention only to the extent it is needed to provide stability. Market economies may still engage in some government interventions, such as price fixing, licensing, quotas, and industrial subsidies. Most commonly, market economies feature government production of public goods, often as a government monopoly. But overall, market economies are characterized by decentralized economic decision-making by buyers and sellers transacting everyday business. In particular, market economies are distinguished by having functional markets for corporate control, which allow for the transfer and reorganization of the economic means of production among entrepreneurs. Although the market economy is clearly the modern system of choice, there continues to be significant debate regarding the amount of government intervention considered optimal for efficient economic operations. I'm just gonna let you know I myself, vote zero government intervention. But that's just me. Now, most economists believe that the market-oriented economies are most successful at generating wealth, economic growth, and rising living standards for a nation, but they differ on precise scope, scale, and specific roles for the government intervention that are necessary to provide the fundamental, legal, and institutional framework that markets need to function well. So like the United States, most countries have primarily market economies, 
Keep in mind, however, that such economies are still influenced to some degree by government policies. This may take the form of laws setting minimum wage, subsidies for certain industries or sectors, and policies that prohibit the production and sale of certain products and services due to potential risk to consumers. Now, among some of the largest economies in the world, the following countries have primarily market economies. These are the United States, Japan, Germany, uh, the United Kingdom, Canada, Italy, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and Spain. Next, let's talk about what a mixed economy is. Most modern nations considered to be market economies are strictly spe speaking mixed economies. That is, the law of supply and demand is the main driver of the economy. The interactions between consumers and producers are allowed to determine what goods and services are offered and at what prices uh, they are charged for or are charged for them. That is the law of supply and demand rules. However, most nations also see the value of a central authority that steps in to prevent uh, malpractice, correct injustices, or provide necessary but unprofitable services. Without government intervention, there can be no worker safety rules. Consumer protection laws, emergency relief measures, subsidized medical care, or public transportation systems. So you have to ask yourself, is capitalism and a market economy the same thing? Well, it's sort of a difference and there's some similar similarities. Capitalism and market economy are both used to describe a system that allows the law of supply and demand, not a central government, to determine the production and prices of goods and services. Capitalism, as a political philosophy, maintains that production must remain in private hands and be motivated by the pursuit of private profit. Why is this? Well, because when you're not making profit, you're not going anywhere in life. So this helps when the public sector is able to make a profit, there's more in ingenuity, um, more inventors, things move smoother. When everything's in the hands of the government, we have uh, too many cogs slowing down uh, less productivity. Why? Because people are just gonna get paid. The old adage, the eagle poops every Thursday or Friday. I mean, that's just it, right? There's a big difference between public sector employees and private sector. Uh, employees. Is the market economy good or bad? That's a big question people ask and they debate about it all the time. Most economists say that a market uh, economy system is the best uh, to deliver or it's best able to deliver a high quality of life to most of its citizens. Its benefits include increased efficiency, steady economic growth, and motivation for innovation. This is what I completely agree with. Its potential downsides include the risk of monopolies, exploitation of labor, and income inequality. But here's the bottom line. A market economy is driven by the law of supply and demand. However, the most modern economies could be strictly uh, called mixed economies. That is, the government steps in as needed to alleviate problems or correct injustices. The real problem for economists are deciding what factors that they need to put together to make the best determination of what is coming in the future. I hope you got something out of this. I think it's really important to, to protect the free market and capitalism because without it, we're gonna have a lot of inefficiency and a lot of slowdown. Hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out.